Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm just sitting here reading reading the chat as we're live, and a lot of people are talking about sound healing, music. Um, some people just use God. They go straight to God and just, like, release it because I guess you have mm-hmm. to understand the healing. Like, I, I would think that it's people who need help. And even if you understand it, like, there's stuff you need help dealing with. But once you understand healing, you can release it. You know when you're getting angry. You know when bitterness is coming and you don't let it set in. You don't let it just move down somewhere in your body. You release it. As soon as you get ang- mm-hmm. ang- angry, as soon as someone wrongs you, you don't hold it in as a fence. So that's very smart as far as going to your creator and doing that. Let me ask you this. So mm-hmm. uh, I want to talk to you about the breath and see if there's any anything with, with the breath that goes on with allotropic breathing, people not breathing right. Uh, the word spirit in the scriptures is, is, is translated as pneuma, which is breath, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Breath. Uh, that mm-hmm. animates all life. It's the pranayama. Uh, and so there's this movie, The Green Mile, and there's this scene on there where this, uh, I'm, I'm sure you're familiar with it, but. I've uh, seen it, yeah. Yeah, so there's one of the prison guards who's suffering with, um, I think he had kidney stones or something like that. He had mm-hmm. stuff going on with him, and it was ailing him. And the, the prisoner, the, the big giant guy, um, eventually he's out of the blue had compassion for this guy and knew what he was going through in the nights and God wasn't able to sleep and he was in so much pain and sweating and he grabbed him and sucked it in through his breath he took a big gasp in and then exhaled it out and then in the in the movie it showed all these like flies or something and demonic yeah. spirits is seen as flies in the bible um it's you know that's hollywood that's a movie but i've been in situations where we will be laying hands on people and I would feel that energy and I've done just intuitively sucked in, sucked the energy in and then released it. And when I did, that person broke, liberty, freedom came. I felt the release and I felt the thing leave. Have Mm -hmm. you had any encounters or experiences with the breath or do you know anything about that when it comes to the spirit realm and releasing trauma or even just a confession is the breath we're just confessing it and releasing the breath is does that ring a bell for you at all yeah so um i mean generally when people are in pain or when they're dealing with some sort of trauma they are going to um you know breathe very shallow because when there's some sort of trauma sometimes it's like the breath it's like they, they take a gasp in right but then that breath never leaves, you know, it, it gets stuck in the body. So um, again, usually people that have some sort of trauma or some sort of overwhelming experience to them uh, that happens to them rather, you know, they can have very shallow breathing. So, you know, just the act of deep breathing um, can help with, with healing and it can help with releasing pain. Um, I, I love your example, Derek, of, of laying on of hands and how you could feel that that person had some sort of emotional imbalance going on, and then you felt it, and then you were able to release it. If you enjoyed listening to this podcast segment, be sure to listen to the entire episode by clicking the video to your right. Also, we are on iTunes. You can download the MP3 versions as well. Be sure to subscribe for future episodes.